What's up guys? Jake Hutton from Fitness Culture. Today we're going to be doing a leg day from the athlete program. So the way that it's structured, if you've watched our videos in the past, you've seen us do some dynamic effort leg days. And those are usually from the power program because on the power program, we get legs three times a week and one day is all dynamic effort. On the athlete program, we get le legs twice a week. And so basically the way that we structure these workouts, we'll start with an Olympic lift, then we'll do some dynamic effort leg stuff. And then we're gonna blast our legs with some volume at the end of the day. So we're kind of hitting all levels of the leg today. Let's get into it. All right guys, first thing we're gonna be doing today, we just warmed up. Now we're gonna move into some med ball drill. So we're gonna do an explosive overhead throw just to work on hip extension. And then we're gonna be doing a lateral med ball toss. We're gonna load up, throw the ball, and then run after the ball, trying to stay as low as we can. So we're gonna go um, just five overhead tosses. And then we're gonna go just two each side on the, the uh, lateral toss. We're gonna roll through that three times. Next thing we got today, we're gonna be doing four sets of three, just a hang power snatch. So we're not gonna be going super heavy today. We're just trying to be explosive and move the weight fast. Now we're gonna be moving into just some dynamic effort, lower body stuff. So we're gonna be doing a box squat today. So the goal in the box squat for us today is we're gonna go try to make it super posterior chain dominant. So we're gonna go a little bit wider stance and we're gonna really press back to sit on the box, get a lot of hip displacement. And then from there, we're actually gonna sit all the way down in the box and then we're gonna drive up as fast as we can. So it'll look, sit back, oh, as fast as we can. So the goal here, is gonna be speed on the way up. Really control it down, sit back into the box, explode on the way up. We're gonna be supersetting that with just two uh, plyometric variations. It's gonna be a depth jump, so we'll come off the bo box, jump straight up and do a vertical jump. And then when we land, we'll go into a broad jump just for as far as you can. So three reps on the box squat, two on the depth jump to broad jump, and then we'll rest for about 60 to 90 seconds. We're gonna roll through that four times a day. The next thing we're gonna do is just some high volume leg stuff. And sometimes in the athlete program, so we're starting to get earlier in the week into our basically peaking at the end of our cycle. So we're going really heavy on legs. So what I like to do sometimes is to mix it up is to get off the barbell on this one. So we're not gonna put like a heavy barbell on our back today. Um, we're just gonna go all into dumbbells. And today we're just gonna blow up the legs. So we're gonna be going 15 reps on each leg on a Bulgarian dumbbell split squat, and then we're gonna go 15 reps each leg, just single leg dumbbell RDL. We're just gonna go through it three times. We're gonna rest 90 seconds in between. So it's really just gonna, like I said, it's gonna blow up our legs, jack our heart rate up, and we're just gonna move through it as fast as we can.
it was a uh, that's a lot of reps man 60 60 reps per set well per, per super set so blow us up drenched in sweat now anyway it's good for you so next thing we got we're just gonna finish it up today with some easier stuff we're gonna be doing tkes with the band well everything's gonna be 15 each leg single leg again so 15 each leg tkes we're gonna do a single leg uh hamstring curl variation lying on the hamstring curl so i'll show you that when we get over there and then just single leg calf raise 15 each leg so we're gonna roll through all three movements three times 15 each leg but this time we're gonna go no rest in between we're gonna knock it out all right guys tk this is gonna be a banded basically just a banded leg extension so people always ask what we're doing here it's just good to um it's called tk stands for terminal knee extension so you want to extend your knee all the way through the entire range of motion the biggest thing that i see people doing wrong here is kind of just cutting it short you really want to squeeze all the way back and then once you get full range, you always have a little bit more that you can squeeze and then come back there. So usually what we try to do too is squeeze the glute on that. So if you squeeze your glute as you're coming back, get your glute as tight as possible and then squeeze your quad, you're going to feel it way more in your VMO. All right. And that's what we're really trying to do. It's just good to help your knee track and just work that VMO. So squeeze that glute as hard as you can. And once you get to end range, spend a second to squeeze harder and then come back out. That wraps it up for a little look of what some of our days look like in the athlete program and the app. If you guys want to check out an entire week, uh, you can click the link in the video right up here to check out a full week. We actually have two weeks, two full weeks in the athlete program if you guys want to check them out and follow along. But the video right here is going to be week two in the athlete program, so you can click on that to check out a full link, download actually a full week of the program so you can take it with you to the gym and follow along with the program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you guys want me to cover um, something that's more educational, let me know in the comments and I'll try to cover that on the next video. Thanks for tuning in.